Fifth grade, lesson three. This is about using money to illustrate place value. Okay. Do you remember what place value is? This has been since last year. No? Okay. You will soon remember pretty quickly. Okay. Okay, and here's my decimal. Do you remember what place this is called? Tenths? Almost. That's on this side. If we're doing tenths, hundreds, yeah, yeah. thousands. Okay, but we're not doing that, on that is side yet. Ones, right? Ones, very good. Ones. Okay. Tens. Very good. Hundreds. Hundreds. Excellent job, Eli. I'm just gonna put hund, okay, for hundreds. Good job, Eli. So we've got ones, tens, and hundreds. Alright? If I gave you hmm, 12 $1 bills, Eli, if I gave you 12 $1 bills, okay, could I fit all 12 of them here? No. No. Okay? So what ends up happening? You have to like... How many can I take from this? Can it be made into one of these forms? You could take 10 of it and put it in the 10. Very good. So I'm going to take away 10 of these, which leaves me how many left over? Two. Two. Very good. And so 10 of them come over here. And so I have one 10 and two ones, right? So if we were drawing a picture, what this would look like is I would have two $1 bills. I'm just going to put a one on them. And then I would have one $10 bill. Okay, so we'd have $10 plus two ones, which would make $12, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. Okay, now let's talk about, we're learning something called expanded value, okay? Expanded form, okay? So let's say I wrote the number 312. How many tens are in this number? How many $10 bills, Eli? Um... One? One ten dollar bill. Very good. How many one dollar bills are in this one? Two. And how many hundred dollar bills? Three. Okay. He did it excellent. Okay, so this time I'm going to put a number in there just like he did. Let's say I said uh, five hundred twenty three dollars. Okay, what does my five show, Eli? The hundreds. Okay, so how many hundreds do I have? Five. Which equals how much money? Five hundred. Very good. How many ones do I have? Three. Okay, which equals how much money? Three dollars. Three dollars, okay. And how many tens do I have? Two. Okay, which equals how much money? Twenty bucks. Very good. So how much total do I have? Three hundred and twenty-three dollars. Five hundred and twenty-three dollars. Very good. I have five hundred, so it would look like this if I had dollar bills. I'd have five one hundred dollar bills. So I'm gonna write a hundred on all of them. Okay? Now that would be pretty sweet to have five hundred dollars right now, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, so we have five hundred dollars. Then how do I label these? Uh twenty? No. No. Ten. It is gonna be ten. Yes. Yeah. It is gonna be um twenty dollars, but we have two ten dollar bills. And then what do I do here? Three ones. Three to one dollar bills. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar. Okay? So we end up getting 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. 523. Makes pretty good sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, which digit, remember what digits are? Just numbers. Which of these numbers or which digit in this number shows the number of tens? Six. Very good. Okay? Now, I want you to use your own digits on your paper right now, and I want you to write this. Use digits to write the number for three hundreds plus five tens. So here's what he's trying to perform. Three hundreds plus, let's do that, plus also five tenths. That's what he's trying to do. 
Let's see how he did. And he did excellent. I, Eli, would you like to come up here and show us how to do it? Okay. Okay, why is it like that? What place is this? Um, once. Very good. What place is this? Tens. And what place is this? Hundred. Very good. So he said that we had three hundreds and five tens. How did you know to put a zero in there? Excellent job. Good. Okay, because I didn't say how many ones there were. So you have to have something that fills in that spot. Good job. Okay, and last one. Last question before we're done. How much money is $100 bill plus, okay, you may have to draw this out. I have one $100 bill, so I'm just going to draw that out. I have one $100 bill, okay. Then I have 10 $10 bills. And then I have 15 $1 bills. Now, this is going to be a little bit hard, but I think you can do it. Okay? So let's actually draw this out to figure out how much money we have. Okay? So I'm going to have 15 of these. Now I'm going to make them smaller. One. That's just going to be our chart. Okay? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And what am I going to write on each of these bills, Eli? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have, what's, yes, very good. I have 15 of these $1 bills. Now, how many $10 bills do I have? 10. Okay. One, two, help me count them out. Three, Three four, four, five, five six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. And what are these bills labeled? 10. Very good. $10 bill, $10 bill, $10 bill, $10 bills each time. And then my $100 bills, how many do I have of those? Uh, Very good. I just have one of them. 100. Very good. All right. What do you think my very first step should be, Eli? Can I do something with all these 15 ones? Instead of having 15 ones, is there something else I could do to make it easier so I don't have so many? Just get a $15 bill. No, not a $15 bill. 10 and a 5. Ten, well, we're not going to work with fives, but there is a ten dollar bill. We're going to make this five ones, and we're going to take ten of these. Is that what you said to do? And we'll bring it over here to a ten dollar bill. Okay. So what he's saying we should do is take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this equals ten dollars. So I'm going to add another ten dollar bill. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm going to erase this now because we're done using those. We turned it into a $10 bill. All right. Now, let's count how many 10s we got right now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. So is there something I can do here to get rid of all of those 10s? To make it easier. $100 bill and a 10. Yes, very good. So I'm going to take 10 of these because 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All of these $10 bills equal $100. So I'm going to bring them over and turn it into one $100 bill over here. So I'm going to go in and erase this. So go on. And tell me what number we have. How many hundreds do I have? Two. How many tens do I have? One. How many ones do I have? Five. Very good. So, what is our number? 
215. Excellent job. You feel it figured out? Pretty good, huh? Excellent job. Okay, you can go in and stop the lesson.